Good morning. It says in Psalm 81 verse 16 that God wants to feed his people with the finest wheat and satisfy us with honey from the rock. We read in 1 Corinthians 10 that the rock was a symbol of Jesus Christ. It says that the rock, Paul says the rock that followed them through the wilderness was actually Christ supplying them with water and shade. But here it says that we can also have honey from the rock. What a beautiful picture. Do you need some honey today? Something sweet, the kindness of God's grace. Honey is a symbol of God's comfort and healing and grace. The promised land was described as being a land flowing with milk and honey. It says in the Psalms that God's words were like honey to the taste of the psalmist. It was so sweet to be close to God, hear him speak. Honey is a beautiful picture of God's kindness, love and grace. It's definitely a picture of grace because honey is a free gift given to us. You don't make honey, someone else does. You don't work for honey. All those little bees do all the work and we just reach in our paws and take it and enjoy it. Honey is incredibly sweet and so is God's love and so is Jesus. It's very sweet to the taste. And uh, when God speaks to you, there is a great sweetness in it every day. It says that the manna that came down in the camp every day for the people of Israel tasted like wafers made with honey. There was a sweet heavenly taste in the bread. And when God speaks to us daily bread, it is sweet. Jesus' love is sweet. Honey also gives us incredible energy, instant energy. It says in the story of Jonathan when he was fighting the Philistines in the forest, when they were fasting and they were exhausted and battling and battling, it says he saw some honey on the ground and he put the end of his staff in and brought it to his mouth. And it says as soon as he tasted it, his eyes brightened, he had strength for the battle. Is that you today? Are you battling with something? Fighting the enemy on so many fronts? Tired? Weary? Maybe you need to reach out your staff and dip it into the honey today of God's love for you, of God's grace and kindness to you and be anointed again with the sweetness of God's Holy Spirit and be touched in your heart with the sweetness of God's honey. When you do, your eyes will brighten and you'll have strength and energy to keep fighting the battles of the Lord and you'll win with the help of the sweetness of honey from the rock. God wants to satisfy you today with honey as a gift from the rock of Jesus Christ. Come to that rock, come to Jesus, receive his honey. Honey is also a symbol of healing. It's full of health properties and so many that it will be, you know, you'll have to look it up because there's so many to list. Honey is massively healing and health giving to us. It's one of the best superfoods you can eat, especially this honey. This heavenly honey from Jesus Christ is an energy giving, comforting, sweet, healing presence. Jesus can heal you today of your broken heart. Let him pour honey and change your bitterness to sweetness. Let him pour honey and heal you physically of pain and the weary exhaustion of being physically ill and battling with that. Let the honey of Jesus come over you today. God wants to feed you today with the finest wheat and satisfy you with honey from the rock. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the rock and we come to you today and we ask you for honey, that you would satisfy us with your sweet love, with your word, with your Holy Spirit anointing, with your presence, with your healing. Lord, you know exactly what we need today and thank you that you bring it in such a rich, sweet way. We pray that our eyes would be brightened and that we would have energy today to live for you, to fight the battles of the Lord through the honey 
that comes from the rock. Amen.